Charlie Gibson. ABC News has been on the air for a very long time now. And in the course of putting together thousands of broadcasts, we have experienced just about every on-air situation imaginable. So in order to protect ourselves for the next 50 years, we have come up with the top 10 rules for covering the news. Television news used to be so simple. All you had to do was remember who you worked for. I'm Quincy Howe of, CB of ABC News. 50 years later, it's a lot more complicated. So here now are the top 10 rules for covering the news. Number 10, dress conservatively. This means a proper jacket, freshly pressed trousers. I just realized I have my pants on backwards. <laughs> These are the pockets. You can put your head in it. <laughs> and matching shoes. You get dressed in the dark, you try not to wake up family, and sometimes you slip up. What do you think will have happened by then? Number nine, make sure your interview subjects speak at least a little English. Today is 25, yeah. Uh, I, uh, took part if they don't, the keep your composure. Oh, the first artificial satellite. <laughs> Number eight, avoid working with animals. They're very intelligent. They're very social. Uh, they can actually recognize themselves. <laughs> well, they, they, are, they, they are very human. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, Charlie, the animal probably. <laughs> the animal probably. <laughs> Number seven, keep it clean. The Vanna White doll. There we go. See? There you go. Whoop. Number six, always expect the unexpected. This is what would happen. Number five, think safety first. Now you got a train coming. There's a train coming. There's a train coming. Number four, remember that reporting from the field is harder than it looks. I'll be back with the rest. Number three, know the names in the news. And General John Shalish Kabili. Can we find somebody named Smith? Number two, always be yourself. And the number one rule of television news, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, remember the camera is on. ABC News, Cairo. And now, please welcome two Good Morning America alumni who taught me those ten rules, Joan London and David Hartman.